gentlemen, welcome back to Fly Till I Die. What a statement. If you guys aren't aware, Fly Till I Die was an old series on my channel that I am now bringing back. And I'm doing it in the best of ways. If you guys don't know, the P-40 Warhawk used to be my channel logo. I love this aircraft so much. It's what I learned to fly in sim. And recently I've fallen in love with the Kitty Hawk, rather, Tomahawk version in the Chinese tech tree. And that's what we're gonna be flying today. And now with the new revamped uh, background, cockpit, thing, I'm in the plane. Now I'm gonna be doing this series revamped flying with others, getting some radio communications in, really pumping some life back into this series. But for the very first one, I wanted to hit it old school. Just me flying in my old P-40. So here we go. All right, attackers are pulling in. Since we are by ourselves, we're gonna have to be extra careful. So it looks like those cons are starting at about uh, 7,000. These guys are taking hits right now, or at least taking fire. We're gonna hover below that 7,000 mark. It's probably more rent, 6,800. And if we see any tracers down below, we're gonna dive in. All right, the attackers are done, and they're gonna be RTB, so we're gonna transfer over to Alpha. This is a very odd match with uh, the teams just kind of being mishmashed as far as the countries go. So I believe this is a bot P40. Six is looking clear. Although I do think we're still low enough to where the cons are acting more to give us away um, and allowing people to build up speed beneath us to come up to attack us than it is actually benefiting. And given that we're losing alpha, I'm gonna dip down below the cons. Enemy fighter pursuing our bomber right now. All right, there's one stuck on the six immediately. That's a friendly to the right side. Those were good hits right into the cockpit. I don't know, maybe he was already down. We're gonna check six to make sure this guy is also... All right, that's an enemy. Possibly another bot P40. Man, his 30 cals ain't doing much. Wingtip's gone, he should be down. Bombers are clear. At the altitude we're at, and the really aggressive position in the cab zone, we're definitely the instigator here. People are gonna have to sacrifice their stealth getting into the objective if they wanna challenge me here. And uh, their ability to climb afterwards is gonna be halted. Putting yourself in the front of the objective and high in this specific situation with the cons is definitely the best idea. All right, we're gonna transition to aggro here. All right, definitely an enemy. And he's gonna get himself nice and slow too. I hope this isn't another bot P40. Hit him pretty good. Wanted to avoid those guns, so I dipped out early. HU-111's got a shot on him. He turned himself into a helicopter, which is very nice for me. Inventing it a little early, I think, historically, but uh, he might save it. That seemed like some pretty heavy wing damage, though. Yeah, he's reverted to killing squirrels with the guns. Yeah, SU-2 is down. Probably about seven minutes from bingo. Eh, I don't know. The front line's really short here probably spare it. The other thing what that means with the short front line is like, I'm flying down the dead center of the map, and I just watch somebody take off, and like, I don't want to move on that, because I feel like that's a bit scummy. Alright, pulling it back to 12%, coming in a little hot on the landing. Still doing 180. We can probably put out combat flaps. These things are pretty strong. Do a little turn. Do another little turn. Get the rudder kicked in. That's when takeoff comes out. A little bit more engine power. And that's good for gear Dan. Put some landing flaps out early, watch the bubbling. A little bit more engine power just to keep that nose up. Can afford it right now. Whoop. All right, gear are a tad taller than I recall, but whatever. Do you guys have like a porta potty that isn't frozen or something? Nothing like a little tactical piss to keep us nice and light. Helps with the range of the aircraft. You wanna keep as little weight in the thing as possible. I have not gotten into a single entanglement the entire first uh, first sortie. I mean, what is that about? That's what you guys come here for. I mean, that's what, that's what I come here for, to the front lines. Ground battle is raging around this town. Oh my gosh. We're tracking something that I cannot ID. It looks like he's turning into me right now. 
Yeah, it's definitely what's happening. I don't want to go head on with anything at this battle rating. Can't identify. Hard to tell what it was. Looks like he's completely bypassing me. Never mind, he's turning. I'm gonna make a guess that this is some Russian aircraft, like a yak or something. I can't tell if he's flying well or not flying well. Alright, we tagged something on his engine, because he's below the cons currently and he's still having issues. We bled a lot of his speed on that, we're gonna make sure we're not anywhere close to their airfield. Is he pulling up? No, he's not. Well, now he is. To which case, we're gonna hold landing flaps and hold up. Good luck. Yeah, he's down. Dump flaps. Try to stay out of a spin. Nose completely down, full engine power. It's good effort. We got enough speed to pull out of it now. He's probably gonna start running back to his base, which is just to the left. Got it. Some big three. We didn't even use a lick of 50s on that one. That was all the 30s. By the way, I have no qualms with shooting somebody who hasn't bailed out of a flat spin yet. Is there still a shot, especially for a pilot like that, to be able to recover? I'm not aiming to kill the pilot. I'm just aiming to disable the aircraft. What happens, happens. Friendly, friendly. Who's up high? Whoa. What are you guys doing? No, dude, you cannot transform him into a helicopter. It's not what friends are for. It's not in the handbook. Did he actually? Oh my gosh, he did. Wow. Oh, he said he hit his UI. Yeah, I guess he put a blindfold on too. It's a fucking hurricane, man. And no, the Brits are not on the other side. I know I said it, all the teams were messed up. Hey, don't come after me. We're definitely friends. Oh, or not. What the fuck? What about the other guy? All right, that's a friend. How? Oh, this... I just checked the teams and they added an American. Oh my gosh. Come on, come around. This plane is insane, the fact that I can hold a turn at 80 knots with full landing flaps at 10,000 feet. Broken. I mean, good plane, better pilot. Papa John's. All right, this is not an ideal angle. We're gonna pull back on the stick. Yeah, like I said. I don't know if it's the altitude or what it is right now, but he's got... Oh, wait, I guess he is in the F, so he's got a better engine than me. He could be able to roll. He just generally has more energy as well. He's playing this well. Hit him from long range. Got three of these guys, gonna roll away from RF to make sure we don't hit. Critted. Yeah, that's why I saved the 50s. Good fight. We're gonna dive away. I'm not sure what else is here. And it's hard to tell what the cons are. are three dots, which is concerning because I only counted two friendlies. Oh, never mind. that's a friendly bomber. All right, we got hit pretty bad in the back, um, but it's not the control surface. It's just, I don't think it's too big of a deal. We're gonna stay out for now. Good fight, he might've had me if it was just a 1v1. Significantly better engine. I'm definitely better than the P40E model, uh, but I don't know about the F. The F is a stretch. That was nearly karma for making fun of the hurricane, wasn't it? Misidentifying. Hey, if I give you a 20, do you think you could throw a little bit more gas in there? We definitely need some more fuel, because that has been the limiting factor. All right, third sortie. Somebody should ask the sun why it hasn't set yet, but that's not the main concern. Main concern is that they are now taking alpha, and I still have very limited friendlies in here. We're gonna be finding ourselves outnumbered in alpha, although I don't see any cons in there, so we're certainly gonna be the highest coming into the fight. But that's only gonna be an advantage if we can stay the highest in the fight. If anybody gets up there with us, as we could tell earlier, uh, we may not have the best of days. And the goal at the end of this is to make it back alive. I think the sweet spot's gonna be between 11 and 12,000. 
Uh, that Hunt Snake Feller in the P40F is over in that direction right now, so we shouldn't have to worry about him too much. So a friendly's getting jumped up there. This guy's cons just seem to be completely non-functioning, which as far as tracking goes, it's gonna be difficult. Uh, we are headed straight in the wrong direction. But any direction that isn't towards their other friendlies is good right now for me. I have a feeling this guy's gonna start firing here any second. It is difficult to identify or pulling out. And off this plane, this could be rough. Holy shit, I don't know what that is. We're flipping around the other side. This has to be over quick. Come on, come around. Yes, thank you, 109. Thank you, fellers. Although this is still our fight. He's still aggroed on us. We might actually have him here. Or friendlies will have him. We're going to pull off and try to focus on anybody else coming in. Including that feller. Which if he, if he had just looked to his left, would have seen me. A very good spot to get shot at. I can't see him at all through this. This guy's tanking hits. There he goes. All right, Italian feller down. Good fight. I don't know if we would have survived that if uh, some of the friendlies had not shown up there. If the friendlies cover you, you got to cover them. That's exactly what just happened right there. We got a little lucky on the numbers. Wasn't expecting that, but it all worked out. Gonna have three bogeys. One of them does not care at all. Six looks clear, at least on the one side. Possibly two P40s here. Which is which. Okay, there we go. Got him. Held him off. Very well done. He should have called out there, but I'm, I'm, he was probably confident that he was going to win that fight. I'm just making sure. All right, 5-0 and oh with two bot kills. Not bad so far. I feel like we're going to have to do something stupid to get killed. But again, that is definitely not the goal. I believe we got eyes on an enemy bomber. We're going to do our best to cut him off here. We don't have a ton more 50. Well, we probably have about 50% of our 50 cows left, about half, which we'll aim to put right into his cockpit here. We'll go 30s first, unless this is a friendly bomber. Whoa, 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 not good. Did not see him, and now we're nice and slow. That's gonna be the MiG-3. Yeah, that's a friendly. All right, we're gonna play stupid here. We're gonna fire and make this MiG think that we are also a friend and say, oh, we got too scared. Oh no. Oh no, we're little scaredy cats. He doesn't care at all. This guy doesn't give a shit. But he might. That might have actually worked to keep that guy off of us. Although I believe that was also a friendly. Is the genius play still brilliant, even if no one's there to witness it? Probably not. Man, that feller is focused on the bots. Guys, if you're new to sim, every single airfield has two defending aircraft. If you go after them, you're probably either gonna get a free kill um, but that's unlikely, considering that there's two of them. You're probably a noob, and the airfield AA is going to be shooting at you. Here you go. Come at me. Oh, you're a friendly? You didn't call out when I put a ping right on your head and said MiG-3? And you just unironically shot at the... Low-tier sim is something else sometimes. Shot way too far behind. He's, I think he's got a back gunner on that thing. Friendly sitting right on his six, though. All right. Whoa. Okay. IL-2. We saved our bomber. Just barely saved our bomber. Nearly went right into him, too. Forgot they had IL-2s. I thought it was an SU-6. I always hate doing that, especially when I know there's noobs around. 
is slotting in directly behind somebody when you got friendly shooting at him from range. But I don't know, I felt that was necessary to save the bomber. Well, something else is going on. Hey, fellers, let's give some IDs. Come on, let's check them. What's the age? Can you be here? Are you legal? Oh. Oh, he isn't. What even is that? P 40s going after some ground targets again. We're going to try to dissuade him. I'll attempt a polite de escalation. If that doesn't work, we got some guns. I mean, those are pretty convincing from what I hear. Oh, never mind. The ground was even more convincing. Coming in with pace. Not seeing anybody else at a quick glance. Okay, one guy far. Spitfire. Come on. Nice, good hits with the 50s. Pulled a little bit harder than I wanted to for that, but we got him out of a bad spot. He should keep burning. Oh, never mind, he's not. We're gonna change targets to the second guy then. That guy just operationally should be out of the fight. We'll let our friendly handle it. I know the B-34 is on the other side of the map, so we're gonna be going head on here. Engines tagged. Whoa. Gosh. Took some significant hits on that. That crew's got a pretty good experience. To be hitting shots on a head-on like that. Just have to make sure that fighter that was low doesn't follow us. Luckily, airfield's right here, and we should have prevented that bomber, at least uh, for now. We got very lucky not to be set on fire there. Engines hit pretty bad. This should still be a wheels down landing. Man, you guys have been taking a beating over here. Oh, crap. Oh, that was the repair depot. It's gonna take a few minutes. Oh my gosh, it's a fucking enemy. Guys, I don't know where. Where's the AA? Where are they? You gotta get them live. My engine's cooked. Dude, if this guy comes around. Oh my gosh. He's gonna be. He's gonna try to gun us down. Oh my god, he's turning around. Dude, if he starts shooting at us, we gotta bolt. Yo. No. 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 Whoa. What the fuck? Yo, why is... Uh. Come on. Let's get it working. Ah, it's not fucking functioning. They didn't fix the plane. They didn't fix it. What the fuck? All right, well, the plane's completely dead. I don't know what's going on. There's nobody left at this airfield to repair the damage. The plane's cooked. I don't know how I'm still alive. And I completely lost my goggles bailing out of the fucking plane. Holy crap. All right, well, the plane's down. We don't have a replacement here. This is the Battle of the fucking Bulge, man. We're flying an H-81, a Chinese plane. There's no replacement here. All right, well, thanks, fellers, for coming to the first flight till I die. Hopefully that HE-111 doesn't come back around. Uh, if you guys have any more recommendations for any other aircraft, let me know. Got some of these things in the works with some other people as well. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Adios.